the best part of being a media studies teacher is a couple of things really. One of them is uh, preparing lessons that you think are going to go one way, discussions, analysis of uh, different media text, could be a TV show or a magazine or an advertisement, and the students taking it in either a completely different direction or in a lot more depth than you realised was actually there in the first place. It's really good uh, to see students um, analyse media texts um, in a unique way and a way that uh, shows that their understanding of the depth of a product. And the, uh, the other excellent thing about being a media studies teacher is when you see students create their own work to produce short films, music videos uh, that are just outstanding, very creative, original, technically brilliant, where they've roped friends in perhaps to be dance troops, you know, out on a cold day helping them. Um, it, the production values, even with the most basic equipment, can be fantastic and uh, you know we've had some brilliant projects in the past. Um, hidden talents would include and probably end with juggling. When I first started teaching I worked at a high school and one of the classes that I would work with was a year eight English class um, that has to be said was full of probably the sort of naughtier boys in the school. Um, one student was struggling with something, I stood up to go and help them and promptly fell over completely. Um, I'm a bit clumsy as it is but yeah I sort of went went straight over and on my way down which felt like it was going in slow motion I thought they're just gonna rip me apart here but much to my surprise and quite nicely when I did hit the ground there was an audible gasp and one of the naughtiest boys in the school just said are you okay sir so that was quite a nice surprise but still uh, haunts me to this day okay I have to be a bit careful describing a colleague that I work with that I couldn't do without because my wife works here um, but um, someone that I do work with every day is the film studies teacher, uh, Matt O'Regan, uh, who's sort of my partner in crime, I guess. Uh, we work together a lot on developing schemes of work and the subjects that we teach. And we also record um, a sort of uh, culture and um, current affairs podcast together called Self South Southwestern Scribbles. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much since, since day one, we've, we've worked together and uh, it's, it's always a lot of fun. The worst part about being um, a teacher is actually when I first meet my students and having to explain that uh, just because I'm from Essex it doesn't mean that I know anyone from TOWIE or that I may be anything like the people from TOWIE either. If I was a student uh, sat here um, having to uh, you know, be taught by myself I suppose I'd probably think um, why does he keep bumping into things? Um, because I'm quite clumsy. Um, I'd probably wonder why I tend to use a hundred words when maybe a few less would do. And I'd probably wonder how much longer I was going to continue to use being left-handed as an excuse for my awful handwriting. The part of, uh, I suppose, my job that makes me most proud is seeing students who really challenge themselves in their media production, um, taking risks, being creative and you know really going for it in terms of the, the, the projects they make, whether it's a short film, music video, whatever it is that you can tell that they've seen through their sort of creative vision from conception of the idea to the final edit um, and I think that gives me the, yeah, the, the most pride uh, in the subject and, and job.